just got my air lines pulled out the side garage door. Feel out of this carburetor. If I just take this off, hopefully it'll come off at the bottom here. It's a little bit tight, but I've got. You can see all that old fuel draining out into this tub. I can put that into my extractor and dispose of that at the tip. And take that out there, and this whole bowl comes off. There's a really detailed video of me doing this on a, a Honda video. I'm not sure if it's on YouTube, but it's, I know it's on the Honda, um, the Honda DVD I've got for sale. I mean, look at the bottom of that. If you can see in the bottom of that carb, look at that. That's why it won't run, and that's that's definitely the reason that this uh, this mower's not getting any fuel through. It's just filthy inside. Um, it's got all sorts of bits of gunk around the bottom of it. So I'm just going to take this little float off here, and we're going to take this cab to bits, and we'll clean it all out. I'm just going to get a screwdriver in here and just remove this uh, main jet. See, in here there's like a cutaway for a flathead screwdriver. If I put that in there. Um, I should just be able to remove this main jet. I should be doing this in the garage on the bench really, but um, I just want to get it done to be honest. So I'm trying to do it, you know, just so you can see what the actual process is. So. So I've bagged that out. You can see here it just pops out of here. And uh, it looks pretty gunked up. It's actually a... Uh, Quite difficult to film. There's actually should be a tiny hole in there. And it looks really gunked up. So we've got that off. Um, I'm going to remove this pin from here, and then I'm going to lift this float away. You'll see there's actually a little, actually a little needle in the bottom of there. You see this, the silver part of the bottom. You don't want to lose that. So now I can get in. Um, this main jet's just come out, as you can see here. It's all little holes in these, and if they get gunked up, as this one has done, um, it won't deliver fuel properly. So I can get in here. I'm just going to clean this off with some carb spray. I'm going to blow it out with the, uh, my airline. Now I get quite a lot of emails saying I can't start this because I don't have an air compressor. You don't need one. Just get a can of air duster. You can get compressed air in a can. That's all I used to do. So I'll get some carb spray and we'll clean this out. I just use uh, whatever I can get. Carb spray doesn't really matter what I make. I just give this a really good clean out, just spray it, spray in everywhere you can see where there's a hole. If there's any screws that come out that lead to somewhere else, take them out as well. Um, and just get in, basically, just get in everywhere you can. Um, just give it a really good clean out, and I'm going to dry it off the uh, compressor inside and out. And then we'll just uh, spray all the other little bits up, spray the main jet up, I've got it in this tub here. Spray everything up in here, and blow it all out with the airline, and we'll just reassemble it. There you go, as you can see, I've got this nearly cleaned off. This linkage has dropped out, which it always does. That's why I wanted to get a good picture of it. I'm just going to dry this uh, dry this off and clean it off and blow it all through with my air compressor. Make sure you've got some, um, make sure you've got some gloves on um, and some goggles on and some glasses on or whatever you wear. You don't want this going in your eyes. I've just put these jets back in here and I've just put this float ball in, put this pin across. Um, I'm just going to clean this out as well, this this uh, bowl here, which is a real mess is that. I'm just going to clean that out, make sure that's clean. This is where your fuel sits at the bottom of this carburetor and it actually sucks it up through there. So any bits that come up through there into them tiny little holes is what's um, stopping the fuel come through this carburetor and stopping this mower running. There's actually a rubber washer here that actually sits around the edge of here for the... You know, the more observant of you, you'll probably notice that that fell out. Um, so I've just popped that back in and we'll just put the bottom on this carburetor and we'll try and hook it back up on this mower. Right, so let's have a quick go at putting this back together. Don't be fooled, it can be very easy to think that this gasket actually fits on the back, it actually fits against the air filter box that. Um, I've done that a few times, so um, I'm just, I've never found a good way to do this. So I'm going to hook this back one in and I'm going to sit it there. And then just for now, I'm just going to push one of these back through and just start it so it's not all dropping back down. And then I'm going to have a little bit of a, a look back and just put this linkage in. This is a bit fiddly this. Um, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put this longest end in here first and hook it back through. 
Yeah, you're right, I've had a few goes at this. Um, and push this back down through here like that. And that seats in like that. And if I remember correctly, that's right and everything opens and closes correctly. So I'm just going to put it back in and we'll just check that. Make sure everything's moving freely. Um, I'm never 100% sure, so I've done it a couple of times. I might have to spin this around the other way. Um, let's just try something. As you can see there, everything's moving. I might just have to alter this cable under here a bit, but uh, I'm pretty sure I've got this in the right place. I'm just going to um, test it a few times. I'm going to put this pipe back on here. This, this breather pipe just came off as well. We'll pop that on. And the next thing I'm going to do before I connect this air filter box back up, I'm going to connect the fuel line because I want to just check that this carburetor doesn't leak. So if it leaks after I've got it all back together with this box on and screwed it all back together, then I've kind of wasted my time. I just want to show you something actually. Can you see this, this carburetor here is like a butterfly choke on it. It doesn't quite open all the way, it kind of sticks. You can alter that a little bit just by, by moving this. You see this Yeah. If you just get a screwdriver in there and just pull it back a little bit. Just undo it. After time, over time they just stretch a little bit. So I'm just going to move this back a bit and I'll show you the result. What I'm going to do to check this is I'm just going to put this all the way up to choke. And you probably see here, if I pull on this cable here, if I can get enough on it, you can see this starts to move at the top. Let's just try and back that off a bit. It's quite hard to do because I'm trying to hold the camera as well. Um, let me just see if I can do that. See, as, as I pull this cable here, as I push it back through, it wants to be there. So what I'm going to do with this motor, I'm going to push this to set this, I'm going to push this part here until I've got this all the way closed like that. I'm going to get my screwdriver, I'm just going to lock this back up and then that's getting the full choke it should get because it was kind of there before or maybe a little bit more but I want it right around there so when it's on choke it's actually choking it and you've got the uh, the chance of this mower starting up so I'm just going to tighten this screw up here where my thumb is and that will set that for me so that's now set, I've just pulled that back probably about 4 or 5 mil um, let's say a quarter of an inch, I don't know old school, but uh, not very far, probably about that far. And this closes off a lot more than it used to do now. Not quite there, but that's as far as it's going to get, so I'm getting the maximum choke from this. So I'm going to put this uh, air filter box back on. I'm just going to take this one out here, hold it up from underneath, push this on, shove it all back together, and we'll see if this motor works. But before you do that, always connect the fuel line first, otherwise you get it back together and you'll wish you'd checked. And you can never get in either once you've got this box. Um, once you've got this box back on here, you can't get behind it to get to the fuel line either and put it on. It's a real faff. So do it first and make sure you've got no leaks here from the bottom of the carburetor. So I've pushed that back on and I can't see anything leaking in the bottom. As soon as you connect this up, the fuel is going to flow through from the tank fuel, this fuel line into here. And if you see anything, even one drip under there, you know you've not got this, this washer back on this carburetor, right? All the, uh, the needles stuck and it's overflowing or something like that. So I'll nip this back on here and we'll take another look. So I've got this on, I've got this back on here and this little connector's on right. I've just slid it back along, be a bit a little bit fiddly. What I'm actually gonna do, I don't know why I've never really thought of this before, I can't even remember if I have. I'm gonna tighten this up without this air filter box on. And we'll just quickly put this recoil on. Let's just see if this mower actually runs. Because it's a lot easier to test this without this getting fiddling about trying to hold all this carburetor up and put this box back on. It's a lot easier to test it here and now. Um then it is to have to take everything else off again. So let's just tighten these up a bit. And we'll just see if it runs, really, because really, because I really because I can't wait to be honest. Because it's great, isn't it, when you do things like this and then you've got something that's broken and then you fix it and all of a sudden it fires up and it runs great and I don't know, I just like doing it. It's quite a nice thing to do. If it makes me a few pounds in the process, then that's great as well. So let's nip that up. It's in back together correctly, but I just want to try it. Because if it's not running, and I'm having problems with it, I can at least get in easily. This is just loose on here, but the recoil covers fit properly. Um, so I'll just put this tripod up, and we'll just try and fire it up. Right, there's not a lot of petrol in here, but there should be enough for it to hopefully start. So I'm just going to check the There's nothing underneath. Um, well, let's, try, let's try it. Wish me luck.
right, so we've got it going. As you can see there, there's quite a lot of smoke coming off that, and if you look back to previous videos, you'll find that when a mower's been tipped up like this, people will, you know, they'll sell them to you, or, you know, to me. Because I think they're broken. All that is, is the oil's gone the, uh, the wrong way, we've been tipped up. But I put it onto choke and it started up well. Um, the throttle never works well on this, but it, it uh, ran perfectly when it was on full. Um, and no one ever slows these down. It'll never tick over like that Honda I had on the last video. All you need to do now is just run it for a few minutes and just burn off this excess smoke. Um, so I'll do that now. I'm not going to film all that, but I will refilm it in a minute when it's all gone. This might take a good five minutes, but when it's gone, it's gone. Uh, and I'm going to have a mower to sell you, which is great. Yeah, this isn't... Uh, it ain't looking too great at the minute, there's quite a lot of oil tipping down here. So I'm just going to leave that to uh, uncook itself for a few minutes and we'll give this another go. Check the oil, it's got some in it, as you can probably tell it's all leaking out. Uh, it's not overfilled or anything like that and all that's happened is when you tip it up at this side, it basically the oil just goes straight into this exhaust outlet and until it's burnt off this will smoke. And this is why you see a lot of these in the tip. There's nothing wrong with it, it's just that the oil's gone the wrong way. 